When students fill their plates at the all-you-can-eat dining halls around campus, they probably aren't thinking about how much prepared food goes untouched and is thrown away at the end of the day. Loyal student government member Kristen Courage noticed how much food was being wasted every day and decided to look for a solution. So as somebody who's an environmental science major, um, I was really bothered by this and I wanted to find an alternative to try to recover some of this food. Courage decided to start a chapter of the Food Recovery Network at Loyola. The goal is to save leftover food from the dining halls and donate it to local agencies like homeless shelters and churches. Food Recovery Network is the largest student movement against food waste and hunger in America. Since 2011, it has recovered about 1.19 million pounds of food and hopes to be up to 1.2 million by May. The organization now has 182 chapters in 41 states across the nation. When the food recovery process gets underway, Courage says it will have benefits on and off campus. This not only increases the sustainability on our campus, it engages our community, it teaches students, faculty, administration about source reduction, about reducing the food that we consume individually every single day. Already more than 100 students signed up to help and were always welcome. Once the program starts, the volunteers will go into the dining halls to package leftover food and deliver it to local shelters and churches. The program will be up and running as soon as Courage gets confirmation from dining hall providers. So while we're literally going to be feeding people in need, it's also this huge sense of education for the larger Loyola community. Marissa Devine, Loyola New Chicago. Hillary, a modern Greek tragedy with a somewhat happy ending, is a comedy that includes elements of drama. A college-aged Hillary falls in love with Bill Clinton after she angers Aphrodite, the Greek goddess of love. Hillary struggles to see herself as both a beautiful and intelligent woman throughout the play. And I also hope they see Hillary in a more human light, being able to see more of her insecurities and her vulnerabilities. A female politician who has a long and very colorful legacy, whether you think that's good or bad, is running for president. And that's, I feel like that's an important thing for us to talk about. And Playstead helped the Ramblers start strong with two kills. As the Ramblers made kill after kill, the Flyers couldn't gather any, enough energy to stop the Ramblers' momentum. The Flyers did eventually rally, but it was too late to stop the Ramblers, who won the match. Senior Trevor Novotny added 10 kills and a career-high 13 digs to the game. We have four seniors on the team, and we we're just talking about it. Teams are going to try to end people's careers during the tournament, so um, we're going to fight as hard as we can. We know we have the pieces to, to achieve what we want to achieve, and uh, hopefully we can you know, grind our way through and make our way back as far as we can go. The Ramblers have four more matches until the MIVA quarterfinals. The men's volleyball team had a big loss that might cost them the season, while Chicago baseball is just beginning. Marissa Devine is here with this week's sports. Thanks, Katrina. Although men's volleyball may be the reigning NCAA champs, they are on the outskirts this season and may not have an opportunity to defend their title. The Ramblers took on Lewis University last night in Gentile Arena in the semifinals of the MIVA tournament. Loyola could not come out on top against the Flyers after losing the first two sets. They came back in the third set using key player Nick Olsen to pull out the win. But in the end, the Ramblers just couldn't shake their slow start. They lost the fourth set and ultimately the match. With a tough loss that may end their season, coach Mark Holst tried to address what went wrong for the Ramblers. The third the third set we started playing kind of the way we thought we wanted to play the whole time. They did a great job. Lewis was great tonight. I think they were really, really good. They're a good team anyways, but they were a good version of themselves. Uh, it took us, a, we just weren't making plays the first two sets. I don't know what else to say. It didn't help that one of their key players, Trevor Novotny, left with an injury, but fans still show their appreciation for the Ramblers. They now wait to see if they get the at-large bid for the NCAA tournament. While men's volleyball may ha not have done as well as they had hoped, there's still plenty of Loyola sports action coming up. The men's track team will be competing in the Illinois University Twilight Meet this Saturday. And the women's softball team will be traveling to Illinois State this Saturday. Good luck, Ramblers. In other Chicago sports news, the Blackhawks are skating close to the brink of elimination. 
They have not been eliminated in the first round since 2012. They're now down three games to one against the St. Louis Blues, and the game isn't the only thing the Hawks lost Tuesday night. One of their key players, Andrew Shaw, is suspended for Game 5 after making a homophobic slur at the end of Game 4. Shaw apologized yesterday for saying the slur during a penalty box tirade. Game 5, most important game and last chance to stay in the playoffs. On a lighter note for Chicago sports, the Cubs continue their hot start, winning two out of three from the Cardinals in St. Louis. They're tied with the Washington Nationals with a league high of 11 wins. Ace Jake Arrieta takes the mound tonight as the Cubs start a four-game series against the Cincinnati Reds. The Cubs aren't the only baseball team on a hot streak. The White Sox beat the Los Angeles Angels in the third game of their four-game series with a final score of 2-1. to one. Both teams are number one in their respective leagues. That's it for your sports update. You know, even though the Ramblers took a hit in the last couple of days, I'm really rooting for the Chicago Cubs. What about you? I actually am not very into baseball, but best of luck to them. Thanks, Marissa. Thanks, Katrina.